We begin with the introduction of ISO 20022, which is the international messaging standard for financial institutions. It represents a major shift in payments. Now, financial institutions and other players across the globe are working to become compliant with the new regulation. For example, in Vietnam, organisations have been working hard to ensure widespread adoption of the new standard. And we're joined now by Mr. Dao Min Tuan, Deputy CEO at Vietcom Bank, to look at the challenges and benefits of ISO 20022 and how they may shape the future of payments. Tuan, welcome to Cybos TV. Thank you so much for joining us. So, um, ISO. 2022 migration is a big concern nowadays. And as a large member of SWIFT in Vietnam, what do you think about the readiness of banks in Vietnam in general and Vietcom Bank in particular? Uh, thank you for the question. Uh, the ISO 2022 standard has been adopted for various business areas. The standard will support global interconnectivity data enrichment, adoption of consistent message template worldwide. Migrating to ISO 2022 despite obvious opportunities also present challenges. The bank said in Vietnam already has an ACS payment system which comply with ISO 2022. For Vietcom Bank, we started preparation earlier with investment new technology such as payment hub system, payment cash management system, etc. Vietcom Bank is ready to adopt the new standard as soon as SHIP or IBBS system is migrated to ISO 2022 in Vietnam. We are also reviewing bank-wide technology infrastructure to enable ISO 2022 rollout across on payment channels. Now, apart from the issue of technology, what do you think is the deciding factor in the automatic, even real-time transaction processing between banks around the world? Um, we think banks all over the world need to have a common language to be able to understand and execute payment orders quickly. Countries have strict compliance policy, particularly in anti-money laundering, counter-terrorism, financing sanctions control, FATCA compliance and foreign exchange management. Banks are spending too much time and cost on investigation due to the lack of such common language. Therefore, we completely support the adoption of uniform standard in ISO 2022 among committed by the Remington Bank. Mr. Tuan, thank this you. Is my answer. I beg your pardon. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much. Mr. Tuan, um, to our next question. ISO 2022 provides a set of purpose codes. What do you think this means for your bank in processing payment transactions? Uh, thank you for questions. Uh, do you know if your company is the first bank in Vietnam to deploy the payment standards? We also aim to be the first to offer real time international payments. Uniform use of the mandatory purpose code with even faster processing and increased transparency. According to Vietnam's foreign exchange management regulation, based on the purpose of each transaction, the bank is responsible for document checking to ensure the transaction is correct and in compliance with Vietnamese laws. Banks are also responsible for reporting to competent authority on transactions of particular purposes such as foreign investment, foreign borrowing and debt repayment, payment for import and export and good of services, one-way remittance. Therefore, we think Vietnamese bank will benefit greatly from the mandatory purpose code under ISO 2022. Mm. Uh, Mr. Tuan, do you have any recommendations for the purpose code of ISO 2022? Uh, you know, I understand that this said the purpose code has been built based on extensive pro professional research conducted globally. My suggestion is that there should be clear guidelines to how to help bank and customers select the right course corresponding to appropriate purposes. Examples include purpose code for transaction related to import and export of services, one-way remittance, etc. In addition, in order to, for banks to utilize the purpose code for various reporting purposes or for product analysis, 
they should be more detailed and divided into specific subgroups. This subgroup will carry more information about the type products, type services, et cetera. Um, Mr. Tuan, um, staying with yourself, in terms of working with SWIFT, what are your views on the organization's products and services? Uh, SWIFT has always been trusted payment training among them for its high safety and security. SWIFT now has specific ISO 2022 migration roadmap. It's always been pioneer in adopting the latest technology and deploying new products and to support members, including, including Vietcom Bank. Currently, Vietcom Bank accounts for around 20% Vietnam market's payment volume to ship. Vietcom Bank is the first commerce bank in Vietnam to join ship and also the first to participate in ship CPI. Vietcom Bank continues to be a, an early adopter of more comprehensive ship solutions, such as ship revalidation, ship growth not only in Vietnam, but also in Asia. We also look forward to leveraging ISO 2002 to standard improve the quality of the product and services offered to our customers. Mr. Tuan, thank you so much uh, for joining us and many congratulations on your excellent collaboration with SWIFT. Thank you.